morning. Um, we have just got up and had our coffee. Um, coffee is provided in the Airbnb. We've got a little uh, coffee machine, as you can see. Uh, so we've just had a coffee and our pancakes from last night. Uh, Jess is in the shower. So uh, we're up a bit later than expected, but then after yesterday we needed a decent sleep because it's been a long, it was a long day. Um, as you can see, it's, you can probably see it's uh, 9.36. Uh, we were hoping to get to Universal for 10, but we'll see what happens. Um, the plan for today is to go to Universal, uh, Universal Studios uh, in Hollywood. Uh, we have got tickets uh, through uh, a company online, uh, Attraction Tickets, I think it's called. Uh, I'll check that and uh, put it in the description if uh, I've got that wrong. Um, but basically you can book a ticket and they give you a second day for free. So we did that because um, we plan to use one today and then go back on Wednesday for however long we need to to catch up on the bits that we didn't get done today uh, before we leave. Um, so it wasn't, it was a pretty good deal if you if you want to go for more than one day that's a, it's a good option. Uh, but the plan is to go to Universal, um, spend the day there and then we are going out for dinner tonight with uh, a f the friends that we met up with last night. Uh, or... So that'll be uh, good fun. So uh, that's the plan for today and uh, you'll see what happens during the day. Thanks. It's 11 o'clock and we've made it to Universal. Just parked up on ET. It's not a great day so far, it's drizzling a little bit. Uh, but hopefully it'll improve. We'll see how it goes.
see what they sell with the play. There's lots of little things to do, uh, but you need the power up band, which is $40, which is, uh, we weren't going to pay for that. So uh, we're just having a look around. Unfortunately, the Bowser's Challenge ride is over a two hour wait and uh, that will, we need to leave the park by about 5pm so we're not going to do that but it's been great to uh, actually see the place and get in here so we're probably going to move on in a minute and uh, check out some more rides The mommy are going next. It says it's a 75 uh, 45 minute wait. So we'll see how long it takes us to get on there. Tactical assignment you will never accept. So it is imperative that you pay close attention to this orientation. Your life and the fate of the planet depend upon it. Autobots Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and Ratchet will now continue your orientation. Greetings, Rikunuluku. This is Ness. A human automotive combat force dedicated to human assembly combat and detecting the boss We just did the mummy. And what did you think, Jess? Yeah? It's scary. I have a raspy throat now from all the screaming. It was about a 45 minute wait, but it was worth it. It was really good. As you can probably see, we're going to do the Transformers now. So, uh, that's about a 50 minute wait. Should be good. safe he knows my safety record i promise everything's gonna be fine as long as you guys do what i say when i say it all right she's big i know 10 feet tall okay she is starting to snap at the perimeter guys uh please be careful that behavior is not usually seen out here Leaving the lower knot now after doing Mario World, the Mummy, and Transformers. Transformers was pretty good, it's a 3D ride. Uh, it throws you about a bit and disorientates you, but it's quite a good fun. Um, and we're heading back up, up to the top now. We we'll probably won't be too much longer until we leave because uh, we've got plans for later on. But We'll be back another day to finish off all that we didn't get.
I just wanted to do a recap on what we did yesterday. Uh, we got up about 8.30 and had coffee and mini pancakes we got from the night market the night before. And got ready and left the Airbnb about 10.30. The weather said it was going to be nice but um, it started drizzling on the way to Universal, um, which wasn't ideal. But got dressed for a warm day and ended up having to grab a hoodie uh, in the car before we actually went into the park. Uh, got parked in ET parking garage and walked through City Wharf on the way to Universal Studios. Got into the park about 11.30. It was, it was a bit later than we planned but it's alright. We then got told that access to Super Mario World was sold out for the day which was a bit disappointing as that was the main thing I wanted to see when we was in there. They did tell us to check the app for changes um, and to see if we could get in at any point. Jess had downloaded the app to let you see rough queue times for each ride before getting there. Started off with King Kung Fu Panda, which was hardly any weight, it's like a 4D cinema where you sit down and your chair moves and vibrates. Wasn't sure how good it was going to be, but I quite enjoyed it. Uh, then we went to Harry Potter World and went to Flight of the Hippogriff. It was a 45 minute wait. Uh, it was it was alright, um, but I don't think it was worth the 45 minute wait. It was quite a good ride, but it only lasted for about a minute. We then got some food as we were hungry. Stopped at Hollywood and Dine as everywhere else was packed and didn't want to waste too much time. Got I got chicken teriyaki, which was pretty good. And Jess got tofu noodle salad, which she didn't really enjoy. Uh, we shared them both. Uh, it did, did the job of filling us up, but uh, it wasn't amazing. Then Jess checked the app and managed to get um, access to Super Mario World. Uh, we had like 15 minutes to get there, so we got there as quick as possible um, and managed to get in there. And they've created a, a whole world in there and it's really impressive. Um, they've got, also got an interactive band which you can get to do things in the world. But we were going to get one until we found out they were $40 each, which I found ridiculous. Um, also the wait for the ride uh, Bowser's challenge was over two hours after you got into the world so we didn't decide to do that because we were short on time for the day and it would have taken the rest of the day to do it the world itself was pretty amazing I was quite happy with um, getting in there and being able to see it all um, we had a look at the shop and the only thing I managed to grab was a Yoshi cup but we're going to go back on Wednesday and see what else we can find. Uh, when we got out we went to look for another ride, saw Mummy had a 45 minute wait so decided to go on that. Um, I didn't know what to expect because I've never been, Jess has been before so she knew what was going to go. Uh, it's a really good ride actually, um, goes in forwards and then goes in reverse which I wasn't expecting. Uh, it was really good, I really enjoyed it. We then decided to go on the Transformers ride, which was about an hour wait. Uh, it didn't seem that long because there was things keeping you entertained while you was in the queue. It was a 3D ride with glasses. I thought it was really good. It made Je Jess a bit motion sick, but um, she enjoyed it apart from that. I uh, then decided it was probably best to make our way out of the park because we had the plans to go out for dinner with one of my friends from uh, that used to live in the UK and now lives out here so that was basically the end of what we filmed uh, and then we had a um, nice meal in the evening and then uh, just chilled out and uh, went to bed.